Hey everyone, I want to show you a sector that is breaking out. And there's something very specific about this sector that when it breaks out to new lifetime highs, it tells us almost everything we need to know about the economy and the direction of your portfolio. So stick around and I will show you that. Okay guys, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you a sector and I wanna drill into that sector and look at part of the subsector, uh, the strongest part of it, and then tell you what it means when this both this sector jumps out to new lifetime highs and this subsector. And I wanna point out these two things because if these are breaking out to new lifetime highs, that means buyers are coming in, it tells us so much about the economy, it tells us so much about the market, even if headlines and tweets and tags and posts are telling us the end of the world is coming and things have to crash and blah 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 money printing you know that you know the kind of the the the, the scroll of all that garbage that happens so i want to get to the price charts show you that sector and that subsector and even drill even into one of the leading stocks so let's jump over to the price charts okay so let me go over okay so the subsector is regional banking. <laughs> and I just I just lost everyone on this. I know regional banking. And regional banking has just broken out to new lifetime highs. Now, that's a subsector, right? That that's part of the financial sector which has finally broken out to new lifetime highs. So you have to think about what type of economy and what type of stock market are we in when you have the financial sector breaking out to new lifetime highs and regional banks leading that breakout? I'm willing to bet it means the economy is much stronger than the headline tweets and posts have us believe. Again, just remember guys, scaring people it, it sells, it works, right? That's why everyone does it, right? When you get scared, you click, right? But here I'm saying everything's actually okay. No one's gonna click on that. Imagine you got that in your feed on Facebook. Like, hey, everything's actually okay. No one clicks on that, okay? But if you say the market's about to crash because the Fed's printing $2 trillion and it's gonna ruin the dollar and the s and is gonna go with it, you're probably gonna wanna be like, really? Let me see, him. is that gonna hurt me? So we have the financial sector breaking out to new lifetime highs. We have regional banks breaking out to new lifetime highs. Now my own little story behind regional banks breaking out to new lifetime highs is all those PPP loans, I'm willing to bet regional banks did a much better job of dealing and working with their clients than those big box banks did. Uh, but that's just a story. So regional banks are breaking out to new lifetime highs. That means regionally we're doing good. The economy is doing much better than people believe. And I understand that there's the top 10% of the economy and then there's the bottom 90%. I understand that. I'm willing to bet most people who watch my videos are in the top 10%. Um, and the reason I point this out also is the stock market only in many ways, really only cares about the top 10%. Of course, it cares about the bottom 90%, uh, but not to the same level. So if regional banks breaking out to new lifetime highs, you can see it on the screen here. So what I want to do is I wanted to go into, this is an ETF, KRE, the S&P Regional Bank ETF. I wanted to go into the, see, well, let's just see what's driving this chart higher. And so I just pulled up, I think it's nine biggest holdings in this uh, in this ETF KRE, so you can clearly see this red one up here. We're gonna we're gonna point out. I'm gonna talk about this red one, but there's a couple of neat things I um, I can do here. So first of all, I have the S and P 500 in here. So I just clicked on the S and P, which is actually this blue horizontal line down here. So all the charts are above it, meaning they're all out performing the S&P 500. You want to own symbols, whether it's a regional bank symbol or an S, um, uh, a sector like financials, but you want to own symbols that are outperforming the S&P 500. Otherwise, just go buy the S&P 500. So the top nine-ish symbols in KRE are all outperforming over the last 200 days, 
trading days. So that's pretty interesting. I want to dig into two of them. So first I want to <laughs> I want to see what this big one is. And I can just click on it and you can see when you click on it, now that's the horizontal line there. Everything, or at least these top nine positions are all underperforming it. So I wanna look at that one. And the other one that just kind of caught my eye was this other one, uh, because there's only one bank beating it in the top nine, and that's SVB Financial. So we're gonna, I wanna dig into both of those a little bit. So let's just go first look at the lead bank. Let me, let me take this back to these all beating the S&P. Oh, and before I jump over to the price charts, the other thing I want to show you is I could I also put the the actual ETF in here too, KRE. And so you can immediately see you don't want to buy any of the banks that are underperforming the the actual ETF. Like what's the point? Uh, you only want to be fishing with the strongest ones. So it's a pretty neat way to quickly sort. Uh, okay, so let's jump over to SIV so here it is super long, 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 long strung out price chart, um, $26 billion in size. Uh, so big enough, uh, been around at least since 1991 publicly traded. Um, but it's just beautiful. Here's, here's its old lifetime high. I'm going to zoom in guys. Here's its old lifetime high there back in 2018. And it finally broke above it. So let me just zoom into this guy. So here it is right here. This is one of the lead. This is the strongest symbol within KRE, the regional banking ETF. And it had, is, had, has had quite a run. Um, so looking very powerful. I love when symbols break out to new lifetime highs. Again, when it finally broke above that zone right there, which this is its old lifetime high here. Um, it was moving well into that, but it didn't even hesitate. It actually did a little bit of a jiggle jiggle, a jiggly jiggly going sideways for a little bit after it broke to new lifetime highs. But this is a regional bank. No one's thinking regional banks. <laughs> They're all either like hating tech or looking at cryptos or pot stocks. No one probably is thinking, you know, regional banks are crushing it. Uh, but here is SVB Financial Group that is doing really well. And the other one was RF. So RF, this is not its lifetime high. It did break above that. It is the second strongest in the KRE uh, ETF. Um, it has a little bit more above resistance. Let me just zoom out here, see if I can show you the above resistance here. All these price charts I'm showing you are including dividends reinvested. This is RF Regional Financial Corp has a, a very nice 3% dividend yield. One of the things that I train my people in my invest um, income or growth training course is if you want income, let's just make sure you have income in symbols that are going higher. Um, you can have a great dividend yield, and why not just get it in a symbol that's also going higher? The problem is no one teaches you how to do that. So I like RF, and I also like SIVB. A couple things about KRE, and then I'll wrap it up here, is it's beating almost everything. So I'm just going to do some relative price charts here. So if the line is going higher... If the black line is going higher on the chart, that means KRE, regional banking, I'll just call it regional banking going forward, is outperforming whatever I'm comparing it against. So in this case, I'm comparing it against the entire financial sector. And it started outperforming it. Clearly there had a nice double bottom down there. But so it's outperforming financials. S&P 500, 98% of people cannot outperform the S&P over any five-year period. You can see it started out performing right there at the same time. So it's beating the S&P. Had a little resistance it had to get above. So it's beating the S&P. Let's put the NASDAQ up, which is a very, very hard index to beat. And you can see it had a nice little resistance here. Again, if the price is going higher, right, that means regional bank is outperforming whatever I'm comparing it to. And I'm comparing it to uh, the Qs here. So it had some resistance and it's broken up against that. Now there is this long trend line. If I drew it, it'd come right about down here. So it still has some work to do to get out of that. But KRE is really, really strong. I compared it to the S&P 
the NASDAQ financials. Emerging markets is one of the strongest um, geographical areas on the planet from a, a stock point of view, and it is also outperforming emerging markets. So um, started doing it right around the same time. So September, October of last year, KRE really, really started to outperform. And we can go back to the price chart and just see if we see anything on kind of that September, October range, which was basically right about here. And then from here forward, it has been outperforming a lot of very hard indexes uh, to outperform. Okay, so what's the takeaway? If regional banks are breaking out to new lifetime highs and financials are breaking out to new lifetime highs. By the way, I've given many lists in my email about all the other things that are breaking out to new lifetime highs. But just think about what type of economy must we be having and moving into if regional banks are doing well and breaking out to new lifetime highs. Is financials, if financials are breaking out to new lifetime highs. I think it means the economy is much stronger than you're being sold and the stock market is in much stronger hands than you're being led to believe. And because we live in a always on 24 hour a day Twitter uh, life, every little one or two or 3% fall in the market is scaring the bejesus out of people because they've never been trained on how to actually read a price chart and just grow their portfolio without any trauma or drama. So takeaway is the economy is doing much better. I think we'll find out in three or six or nine months looking back, economists will be like, yeah, we are actually growing much stronger than we thought we were. And yeah, I guess I guess the stock market was in a much stronger place. So guys, if you like these videos, you're gonna love the other videos I have for you. And also please go ahead and hit the like button. It makes a difference to YouTube and Google, and it helps me out. And leave a comment if you have a question or a concern. I will get back to it. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.